I'm Jake Luton. I uh, play QB for the Jags. Um, uh, from Washington State, so from a long ways from here. I played at Oregon State. Uh, started out at Idaho, went JUCO, so I transferred a couple times, but uh, that's kind of my journey, a little bit of my background. What's going on, Jake? Uh, I'm Walter. I'm from here in Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Florida. I'm currently committed to East Carolina side. I should be going up next week, early enrolling. And I've currently played at Oak Creek High School. Y'all got Shaq playing for y'all right now with the Jazz. Yeah, Shaq's yeah. my guy. Yeah, he's came back. He's came back for like a few of the games and stuff. Nice, yeah, Shaq's a good dude. You you go to Oakleaf, is that what you said? Yeah, yeah I go to Oakleaf. I had a, I had a teammate, uh, Aaron Duckworth. Yeah, I know. Played, I, played I, running back. Yeah. Yeah, we lived together. I had a, I got some traditions I like to do, you know, before the game, after the game. You got anything like that? Like any pregame traditions, postgame traditions with your family, friends, whatever it is? Uh, I say post game. Post game, we usually go to the Gator Dock side after the game, right here in Oakley. So like after a win or even a loss, sometimes we'll go to the Gator Dock side and just hang out and talk about what happened and everything. Nice. There you go. Yeah, we uh, when I was in high school, I went to Marysville Pilchuck High School, and uh, our thing was Applebee's. So win or loss, no matter what it was, we go we close down Applebee's. We'd be there all night. The whole team. What was, uh, what was the meal you used to get from Applebee's? Oh, the wings. The wings. It'd always be, it'd always be a half price appetizer time, so we get a bunch of wings. That's that's how we roll. Oh, okay. What are some of the things you learned in football that's helped you? Yeah, I mean, a lot. You know, I, I, I told you I transferred a couple times. You know, I think coming out of high school, I just thought, you know, I'm going to go to Idaho, play in the Sun Belt and light it up. I'm going to go to the league. Like, it's going to be easy. And I think football teaches you a lot about life, and life is – you know, not everything's going to go exactly how you want it to go. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of struggles, adversities, you know, whether it's playing time or it's injuries or whatever it is. You know, maybe everything will go great for you. You'll win the job and, and it'll go well and, and you'll learn different things along the way. Mine has been, I've learned a little bit more through adversity, and I, but I think it's helped me in life. You know what I mean? Because someday when I have kids and a family, I feel like I'll be able to take those experiences I've learned and really just lead myself a better lifestyle and I think that's all due to football. I think you learn so many lessons through football that other people just don't get, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like what what are some of the things that you started eating that you wasn't eating at first? Yeah, I mean I would say it was more like like cutting certain things out and not even like taking it completely out, but just being more mindful of it, you know what I mean? Like not eating pizza like three days a week and like mm -hmm. having a soda with it and then like having pasta the other two you know what I mean? Like incorporating maybe some more chicken uh fish i think fish was something i started eating a lot more and then like i think it's just like the stuff that creeps up on you is like all right like you're eating a whole other extra thousand calories of like junk food you know what i mean but no that's awesome man i, I wish you the best of luck for real i think uh you know whatever happens in this next year just stay the course you know like i said if you're playing get yourself ready mentally get yourself ready in the playbook but if you're not right away, it's no big deal. It's just a year for you to grow and get better and, and learn a little bit more. So I'll be following you for sure. I wish you the best of luck, man.